Hello and welcome to this module of the organization aspect. In this video, we are going to look at how Scrum is used in projects, programs, and portfolios. When we deal with large projects, generally requiring the efforts of four or more Scrum teams with multiple product owners and Scrum masters, other than the fundamental processes, some additional inputs, tools, and outputs may be required to address the additional coordination and synchronization efforts. The definition of a large project may depend on the company and the complexity of projects undertaken. The key criterion for a project being large versus small is to have multiple Scrum Masters and or product owners. If there is only one Scrum Master and one product owner, they can normally handle the additional communication and synchronization effort. Some reasons additional inputs, tools, and outputs would be needed for large projects are as follows. Scrum Teams Increased interaction and dependencies among Scrum Teams as complexity increases for a large project. Need to manage conflicts, resolve issues, and set priorities among all the Scrum Teams. Requirement for specialization as some Scrum Teams may require specialized resources for specific tasks, and these particular skill sets are not needed on all Scrum Teams. Necessity to define certain guidelines and standards that should be adhered to by all Scrum teams. For example, security standards within a company or legal and governmental guidelines for specific industries. These may need to be defined by the Scrum guidance body. Requirement to set up an environment or working area for the large project, which would then be used by all Scrum teams. Need for coordinating the outputs from several Scrum teams to facilitate release for a large project. Scrum Masters Need for collaboration between Scrum Masters when addressing impediments and for synchronizing the work of the multiple Scrum teams. Product Owners Need for collaboration between product owners when working with business stakeholders, refining the prioritized product backlog, and working with multiple Scrum teams. It is also important to note that as we scale Scrum for large projects, additional supporting services may be needed, such as architects, product managers, compliance, information security, governance, etc. Let us now consider the additional roles needed for delivery of a large project using Scrum. The first role is Chief Product Owner. In the case of large projects with numerous Scrum teams and multiple product owners, it is still necessary to have one single person who makes a day-to-day -day business decisions. This person, or role, is the chief product owner. This role is responsible for coordinating the work of multiple product owners. With the help from the product owners, the chief product owner prepares and maintains the overall prioritized product backlog for the large project, using it to coordinate work through the product owners of the Scrum teams. The chief product owner will be responsible for the final deliverable of the project, whereas the product owners of the individual teams will be responsible only for those components and features being developed by their respective Scrum teams. In a large project, the chief product owner will be tasked with prioritizing competing requests raised by the product owners based on their interaction with the business stakeholders. The complexity of this task increases greatly with each increase in the number of Scrum teams and the number of product owners. An important part of the complexity of this task is to ensure various components are properly integrated and at appropriate times. Therefore, it is imperative to develop a list of components and resources needed in common for all teams throughout the project. Although the chief product owner makes the final business decisions, he or she collaborates with the chief scrum master, other product owners, and scrum masters to develop this list. The chief product owner also interfaces with the program product owner to ensure alignment of the large project with the goals and objectives of the program. Next, we have the chief scrum master. Large projects require multiple Scrum teams to work in parallel. Information gathered from one team may need to be appropriately communicated to other teams. The Chief Scrum Master is responsible for this activity. 
The role of a chief scrum master is, is necessary to ensure proper collaboration among the scrum teams. Coordination across various scrum teams working on a project is typically done through the scrum of scrums. There is no hierarchy between the scrum masters, they are all peers. The chief scrum master just works on a multi-team level, whereas the scrum masters work on a single team level. The following figure provides questions that are asked during a Scrum of Scrums or SOS meeting. Number one, what has your team been working on since the last meeting? Two, what is your team going to get done by the next meeting? Three, what are your impediments and can other teams help you? Four, what are the decisions made in your team which could impact other teams? Scrum of Scrums. Typically, any inter-team issues are addressed by the interested parties in a session immediately following the Scrum of Scrums meeting. The Chief Scrum Master facilitates the session. The Chief Scrum Master can be chosen from the Scrum Masters of the large project or can be someone else. For very large projects, it is recommended to have a Chief Scrum Master who is not also a Scrum Master for an individual project because the effort required for the Chief Scrum Master role will prevent the Chief Scrum Master from also being able to dedicate enough time to work with his or her Scrum team. In either case, the Chief Scrum Master should have enough Scrum experience to be able to foster collaboration and to help and coach others with the implementation of Scrum for a smooth delivery of the project's products. Apart from clearing impediments and ensuring a conducive project environment for the Scrum teams, the Scrum Master also collaborates with the Chief Product Owner, other Scrum Masters, and Product Owners in activities such as developing the list of components and resources needed in common for all teams throughout the project. He or she facilitates everything that goes beyond the realm of a single Scrum team. The Chief Scrum Master also interfaces with the Program Scrum Master to ensure alignment of the large project with the goals and objectives of the program. That brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for learning with us.